So I'm just going to look around the room here. All right. It's a combination of words, but lip balm. Sure. And and for those who, who don't know this, Mo did not give me the word lip balm before this conversation. I, I did, literally I did on... not. I literally just picked up some Burt Bees chest. <laughs> so here we go. One of the most common complaints I always get, Mo, it's not my hairstyle. It's not the way that I dress. It's not even the PJs that I'm wearing right now because nobody really sees that on camera. The real problem that I always get on is always my chapped lips <laughs> all the time. They go, Brenda, you got to use some lip balm, my God. You need to use that tool to make you a little bit prettier, a little bit more attractive, or at least presentable whenever you're on a podcast, when you're in a presentation, of course, your YouTube videos. And I always forget. I always forget to buy lip balm until one of my clients thankfully gave me one of her lip balms. and I've been using it for the last couple of months, so I'm grateful for. But the reason I share this story is because a lot of us know in the world, we use something as small as a lip balm as an excuse not to do something, Ooh. not to present on video, not to share an idea, not to give a presentation or even have a hard conversation. And my coach always tells me this, are we making an excuse to do the thing or not do the thing? Mm. So what are you going to do? Are you going to let a little bit of lip balm get in the way of your success? Because I'm not just talking about lip balm. I'm talking about the little excuses, the little obstacles, the little challenges that we create in our minds, in our life, in our surroundings to prevent us from pursuing our dreams. So find the gap, find the lip balm in your life so you can get the goals that you've been dreaming of. Yes. I'm snapping my fingers. I'm clapping. I'm stomping. That's, that's like the why, best. That's why he is a master communicator, y'all. I kid you not. He had no idea what I was going to give him. That was the most random thing in my office. And you were perfect. A start, a middle, and a finish. It was funny. And it was also profound. Thank you. Thank you for that.